Hello everybody, Sift here again with another loop hero run. So, real quick, options here. Would you like me to have the shader or not? I'm using, uh, I'm not using the shader because it distorts the corners and I really don't like that. But if a lot of people want the shader on, it's okay with me, I guess. So yeah, let's start the run. Other than that, yeah. So let's see what we got here. First of all, we actually can buy the river. So we are going to do that first and foremost. Let's place it in the corner, I guess, as far away as possible of the rest of my things. Oh. It, yeah, okay. <laughs> I can't believe it. I have a whole river of questions about this. <laughs> Did you mean an ocean of questions? There's no more ocean in the world. The river is the standard for a big body of water now. Do you? How do we even remember the ocean? Wait a second. Just think, all the water is coming from nowhere and goes nowhere too. Is it the same water cycling around or is it something constantly creating new matter? Who knows? The physics of this thing. I have no idea exactly. Do you want me to see if it's good for swimming? <laughs> of course. And we drop. Well, that's the river that got done. Let's see what else we can do for now. We can play a warehouse. Yep, I'm thinking about playing Signal Warehouse or the bridge which is unlocks the ability to prolong the river under a road during an expedition can be built only in horizontal and vertical river tiles um yeah let's go with the bridge i guess let's place it in the end just because i've always liked bridges but i only remember that now yeah, me too. A river with a bridge is a good sign of civilization. Civil civilization. I guess there is a place for them in my expeditions. Here is a positive thought for you. The need to build constructions just to traverse some space means that our world is not as empty as it used to be. I see it as a good sign. Nice. This isn't even upgradable. Can we build anything else? Not right now. We even... Uh, destroyed the resources for the alchemist tent that people told me to build so yeah and the warehouse dream is also gone i just wasted the my last over expansion but i think after the next run we will have it back so let me really quick show you the supplies we are using because i haven't done that in a while i'm not using any jewelry because most of the jewelry is uh, run focused as you see damage to undead Reflect uh, roads, we la uh, more power when we have lanterns or beacons, which we don't use. And this is a chance to redirect lightning, which we will also not use at this run at least. So let me real quick show you what we are using. We are using max potions. We are using more max HP for every resource we gain during the run. We are using gain rarity. We are using gain defense. We start with two defense and pebbles with passing campfire tile just for a little bit of farming and then we have one hp after killing an enemy and two max hp for every point of defense so these pretty much combine nicely and yeah the only thing i would maybe not use would be the two pebbles and i would most likely use something here for example heal more during a village or heal at the start of each day actually but the pebbles also combine with this so max morale max resource for each all resource yeah so that's the combo i guess and let's go on our expedition we got our river that we so much like and this is the deck i will be using for the act three act three attempt of clearance so we will use cemeteries and villages cemeteries for the enemies villages because we need some healing spiders because they are also easy enemies forests with blood groves to uh, place in the end and beat the enemy the last boss easily bookery to switch around our, the things we want to get because we would like not to get low level deserts and low level forests smithy's forge for just for the end to get some more defense i might just place one down or maybe two outposts as well very useful because we are going with the rogue here and the rest is suburbs because of xp gain arsenal 
desert to make the final boss weaker, river to boost everything else, and oblivion because it's oblivion, I guess. Thickets mostly for the blood glove. So, river doubles the effect of adjacent landscape tiles. Nice. So it doubles these. I will most likely be doubling the thickets and the sand dunes. So yeah, let's go for an attempt at boss 3 with the rogue. I know that the boss counters the rogue because he cannot, the rogue cannot evade its attacks. But uh, I hope we destroy him faster than he destroys us. So that is the plan here. Let's go. Let's place the arsenal anywhere away from the starting area because in the starting area I will actually be placing down the the fighting here and here nice we have already started strong here let's place the forge here in the end just to have it ready place the spider cocoon um, here so that it spits out spiders top and bottom and we can place a village here. I, I got a plan. You guys do not be afraid. Let's go on. The river I will start here. I'm thinking about going this zigzag. While over here will be the suburban area. So yeah, let's let's make the village. Let's make it. Let's start. And see where we go. Let's find our first spider. Which is even stronger. On the old spiders. Nice. Give me a second. Uh, you know what? Let me let me restart real quick because I forgot to add an enemy I wanted. Yep. I'm sorry, guys. I just realized. Let's min max a little bit. I also want to use the ruins because they combine very well with the blood groups. Okay. Sorry for the restart. I hope you don't mind. Uh, this is going to be my suburb area and this is going to be my river area. So yeah, let's start. Uh, this is not a good map for us. <laughs> I'm sorry this is happening. I will restart maybe one or two more times. Nice, I even got an achievement for that. Uh, this is also not a good area for us. I am trying to get a, a nice start here just to be able to beat boss easily nice this is better the whole thing that I wanted is to be able to have uh, to be able to play my outpost in the place it which it hits everything thank you let's go I hope you guys don't mind me restarting but as we really want to try to min max here because this is supposed to be a fi uh, confrontation with the final boss we must be a little bit more prepared so this time the suburban area will be here uh, actually this corner is more open the suburban area mm. Yeah, we will play the suburbs here and maybe even here so we can go up and down with the river over here Nice. Uh, yeah, this corner is actually bigger, so we will try to go like that. Nice. The first map was the best one of the one we could get, but it's more important for me to actually have the cards we want and not just have the best possible map because in the end we will face problems if we are not prepared correctly so yeah there's that let's go on of course I didn't want to restart the whole video just for a little bit of change so you guys can also see my thought process if I make some mistakes better restart earlier than just loop around without the care in the world yeah we didn't get the early spider like we did 
like a minute ago, but it's okay. This is where we will place the spider. There should be a village here. Nice. Let's start making the cross. We got our first spider. We should be starting. Maybe even should plate it up there. We'll see. Let's complete this cross here as fast as possible. Also, let's make... Let's play this here. I will try to... Yeah, actually, let's play it here. This is going to be a spider spawn. This is going to be a cemetery spawn. Yeah, so... My train of thought here is that I will try to place in the middle there this... the fights. Give me a second. Give me a second to actually equip my items and I will start explaining right away. Two forty three boots eight percent and evasion instead of ev yeah that's just better and we are ready I think right now attack speed does actually nothing okay so my plan is to play outposts in the middle of these crosses or spiders like we did here and then villages. Uh, in places in which there is no chance for the enemies to spawn. Enemies, of course, being the bandits. So, yeah. Nice. Another first forest. Nice. Let's actually place my first forest here because I want to have the golem ready very fast so that I don't forget it in the end. Let's continue with the river. Let's also start playing the thickets. These have a double effect because they are next to the river. Of course we are not playing the forests because we are preparing to throw them away. And let's place the spiders here. Actually, let's place them... Yeah, let's place them here. And continue with our suburban area. The reason I'm playing the spiders here is because I want to play a village here. And actually just throw away the spiders. Let's get here the highest damaging weapon. This is also a little bit higher than that. Magic damage we don't really care about right now because the enemies do not have magic resistance anyway nice we got two thickets let's go on with our thickets plan here we are hoping for an early bookery we just got it so let's actually have it in the end as we always do because we want to try to avoid fighting books and we might want to change the to play the cards very fast in the very end right before the boss nice we got the blood grove so let's just play it and let's start with let's start with the gift of blood as it should destroy the skeletons as far as I my understanding on what exactly it does goes I think it pretty much is uh, an improved critical yep he's gone so we already have skeletons in the field we should try to get some magical damage going I just said that magical damage isn't important but the skeleton got two shot anyway so I guess it's not he evaded the electrism Let's get another spider up here to prepare to play our villages. The only thing we need right now is the villages themselves. Got another smithy's forge. Let's uh, let's play it. it. No, that's too dangerous. Let's play it here. Well, this is the point at which I most likely won't be playing this. 
Let's play this here and then we will place a village in the corner to protect it from any kind of bandit spawning. Ruins, I will place them right here. Two fields before the last boss. Just to get rid of them as... No, 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 no. no. Wait, 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 wait. I had a plan. The plan is play this here. The reason being that the blood growth will, will eat them. So they will not shoot in any fight that I put them in. Let's place this here. And after that I will try to play blood grove over here. Okay, nice. We got more ruins. Ruins should be anywhere where they are the first fight. So I will place them here and try to play an outpost over here. There are some things that have to happen in the following days. But if everything goes fine, we will be fine. I will explain my train of thought in a bit. Now we keep the evasion. Uh, let's actually get some evasion here. Yeah, let's get some evasion here. Even if we lose some damage, it's okay. We cannot heal easily right now, so yep, magic damage even if we lose some evasion. So that we get more damage back from what we did with the weapon. Very nice, let's go on. So my train of thought is on these things, on these things here, on the ruins, that uh, I will use the blood groves to, be, to ensure that they will get eaten up. So I'm not afraid of them being in the final fight, because they won't. Time to place our two villages, one here and one here, should actually ensure that, yep, no bandit camp spawned. Because that was the plan in the first spot, on the first spot. Nice. Let's play the sand dunes in the following of the river, because I want to double everything here. Cemeteries, let's place them here. I will play an outpost here to fight everything, so let's actually prepare for the skeletons. And the next ruins should be somewhere where I can place a blood grove. I will place a blood grove here or here. Therefore, I think the ruins here are pretty safe. Actually, ruins here are even safer. Yep, let's go for ruins here because we will be sure that there won't be any fight before, before the ruins. The most dangerous part about the ruins is that these enemies will actually fight in other fights. So if you can block the possibility of them being part of other fights, then you are golden. And to do that, you just have to ensure that there are no fights before them. And after them, but you can actually avoid being fights after them if you just eat them with the blood groups. So they will actually be part of the fight on the top. That's not really ideal. That's why in the top I would like to actually play village. Okay, we got our outposts. Let's also play this. Let's play the sand dunes. Let's play the outpost. The first outpost should be here, because here are the most fights right now. And we can also play village here. As you can understand, the spiders are mostly used. First of all, give me a second here to show you that they get eaten and they cannot avoid getting destroyed. Another one spawned right in the fight. Let's hope that doesn't happen in the final fight. Uh, and the additional trophy, no, I don't really like these. I don't actually like any of those, so let's uh, let's start dropping resources just because we will most likely get destroyed by the boss. So yeah, there's that. Let's see what we got. We keep evasion here. Um, let's get damage to all instead of magic damage. It also improves our evasion. And critical damage chance. Okay, sorry for the change here, guys and girls. We are still swapping a lot of things around. Yep, very nice. Let's go on. We got what we wanted. 
critical actually is critical chance most likely is the best thing we could get because of the electric damage does it actually help against the skeletons we don't know didn't seem to do anything it hit the enemy for 12 so yeah we are still not sure about at least i am not sure about what exactly that red this this passive does this this gift of blood i attack the enemy sometimes for 12 sometimes for 11 and then the shock uh, happens and i still do the same so yeah i don't know uh, let's go on okay so he evaded the spider evaded the attack and then the lightning struck struck her so i'm guessing it's a secondary attack that happens As you can see, spiders are really strong against us right now, so we will slowly but surely... I just realized I should play some thickets and forests in places we need them. Let's actually go on with spreading our suburbs. Nice. This should be easy enemies. Yep, they are weak against melee combat. Minus 60% damage in the first row. What did we get here? Defense, critical damage, chance 8% and, uh, instead of evasion. Um, yes, let's get the defense and the critical chance. Also a lot of HP here. We are 30% evasion and 31% critical chance. So, one in three of our strikes should actually use the Red Thunder. I'm losing a lot of HP here. Nice. Let's play the Sand Dunes. And let's play the Village. Uh, we got two Villages already, so we should start trying to block. Let's block here. Then the next should be here. So, we need to play some things the following loops what did we get that's a nice weapon evasion critical damage counter everything would like for let's actually drop our stats a bit and get the evasion and the rest of the things that we actually like even if we do a little bit less damage it's okay can you stop thank you and thank you let's go on with the river these things we want to get changed so we go on Nice, should two shot them, maybe three, very nice. Let's get the spider. I want to set the spider up so it protects my next village, but this is not a good spider. Right now, I don't think I want to play it. Okay, let's continue with the river. Let's play a sand over here. This river will go up. So let's play a sand here. Actually, let's play it here. Yep. And then it will go... I might have already made a mistake, but we will see. Maybe the river goes over. We will see. Let's actually prepare for the Blood Grove. I will play Blood Grove over here. In this left corner. Actually, I want to play the Blood Grove here for all these tiles. And then on the top, maybe a spider. Yep, let's do it like that. Nice, destroyed them. As you can see here, give me a second. The sand dunes combine with the river and make it an oasis, which changed it to instead of doubling the tile to the left of it, it actually, to the next of it, it actually becomes that I have a lower attack speed, but the enemies have a lot more lower attack speed than me. So overall, this is upside for me. Uh, should I go for the critical damage chance? Yeah, let's go. Even if we drop a bit of evasion here, we get defense and we also get defense also translate to max HP as well as critical chance, which I really like. Level 10 weapon. Let's go. Critical chance. Very nice. Let's drop the weaker weapon of the two, which is the blue one. 
we have dropped our evasion down to 12. Let's get defense here instead of evasion. We have dropped our evasion even more right now. But we should be destroying the enemies with each hit. I really like this medallion. Yeah, let's, uh, let's actually try a fight with these stats to see what happens. Okay, we continue with the sand dunes. Let's not play the spider for now. Let's see how we fare here. Two shot it. Two shot it. One shot it. One shot it. Nope. Still, it's going nice. Let's play the suburbs. I would really like one shot. Okay, not almost a one shot. So, a lot of the quantity of items received on the camp tile. A three. Yep, this is what we're picking. I just realized I made a mistake again. I should stop making so many mistakes. Let's hope we can fix it until we get to the final fight. My mistake was that I wanted to play an outpost everywhere here. And I already have placed a blood grove. I'm already making, not even following the base plan we had. So yeah. That should stop happening. We will fix this until we get to the boss. Because we are going very slowly right now. Slowly and steadily. Let's place the next spider camp. I should prepare for this. So... I want to play a village here. Therefore the spider camp should go here. But if I play it right now, I will fight against these. So let's not risk it. Suburbs, suburbs. Let's go on with this. Let's play the suburbs. Let's go on. Oh, should play a one. The next one is going to the left. Nice. Should I get the evasion instead of ch grid call chance? I have really low evasion right now. Let's see if we destroy these. And we will decide accordingly. We do destroy most of the enemies we fight. Yeah, I'm keeping the critical chance right now. We are two-shotting most of the things we actually find. So yeah, I think it's worth it. At least for now. Uh, this myth is forge. Uh, should I play it? I can play it here and then play a village. So yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, let's prepare the next village. And let's see what we get. So we got a sword, which does a lot of damage, but the ones we have are better. Actually, do we have anything that's higher than... This is the only higher level sword. Critical damage. Uh, yeah, let's drop the defense and get the critical damage here. Improving our damage even more. Seems like we are going all in damage right now. <laughs> Will it work? Who knows? I'm pretty sure some of you know actually. So, I don't know. Evasion and damage to all. Wait, these two actually... You know what? I'm thinking about... Uh, for now, let's actually go on. Until we get the blood grove where we want it. They... One escaped. So I will get bombarded here. Yep, maybe not. I would like to get the blood grove. We got a thicket. Uh, let's play it. Okay, that's not really good. But we will survive, I think. So level 7. 11 magic damage. That's like a lot. And 3 damage to all? Mm. No, we are one-shotting these. And, okay. We are not one-shotting them, but we are doing a lot of damage. And this 10% to 15% critical chance, I think, is better... Critical damage is better as well, so yeah. 
these things stay. This should be an easy fight. It seems not. We can do it. I would like to get an outpost in this corner. I would like to get a lot of outposts actually. But first of all, I would like to get a village. Yep, that's the danger of this. Nice, we got an outpost. Let's play the outpost. I will, I will need an outpost in the final fight, but we're still, still far away from the final fight. So let's actually get the outpost here at the top. First. Yeah, because there are more fights here. This is just one fight. Spiders. Please stop, Spine. Thank you. Thank you. And... Please get destroyed. Please get destroyed. Let's continue with our suburban area. What did we get? Nope. Nothing I really care about right now. Sand dunes. Let's go on with them. This is my third, my first river playthrough, so from the next one we will min-max. But for now, let's just play it casually. Nice, that's gone. We got a new item. Let's see what we got here. The suburbs go on. I should start going to the top. And let's fight this crazy fight. Let's protect the things we might use. And you're gone. Okay. I think we found something we like. Let's first look at the weapons. As we should always do. Attack speed and critical damage. And damage to all. Instead of a uh, lot of things. No, I think the one we have are better. So, let's see. 20 evasion and 11 magical damage. I think this is worth it. Like a lot more worth it than the one we have, so we are using it. Critical chance 10%, very nice. Evasion 12, counter 16, and evasion 11. So yeah, let's go with the critical damage for now to one-shot everybody. And let's keep the evasion here. Yeah, we are keeping this. And let's go. I don't think there is anything more important right now. Yep, let's just go. We will find better evasion items. But we are at 20% evasion, which is nice. And 50% critical chance, which also combines with this red lightning, which pretty much strikes every single time we attack. Let's get the ev this evasion talent for the final boss. Yep, just to have it prepared. Should get one shot. Yep. Should also get two shot. Suburbs, go on. Let's continue. One shot. Not one shot. I would like. So my next target here of a of, of yeah my next target of what we should actually get is a village. Please give us a village and uh, what are they called? I will tell you what else we need right after this fight. Definitely a village. And we will need a blood grove. Village and blood groves are what we want. Blood grow first, if possible. Until we get the things we need, we will not make our fights harder. Nice, we got an outpost, let's play it here. And now we just need one last outpost for the final fight. But I would like to get the blood grove right now. As well as the Oblivion. I want to remove this from here. 
We found the blood grove, so let's play it up here. And we just lost the spider nest we had. Nice. Let's heal up. Let's protect this. Let's see what we got. Level 11 with evasion. Very nice. I will most likely equip it. And the rest, nothing good here. So let's go for the evasion as well as the level 11. Uh, let's drop the critical damage. Although it seems to be a stronger one, we care about the chance because of the electrism. Electrism. Of the electric ability we got. Okay. Attack speed damage to all. No, let's keep the magic damage as well as the higher evasion. 33% to evade. Nice. Damage to all. No. Let's actually just bring this up to protect it. What else do we got here? Magic damage. Instead of critical. No, thank you. Magic damage. No, thank you. Damage to all and attack speed instead of magic damage. Um. I think yes, because magic damage, only the skeletons can care about that. And damage tool plus attack speed actually is useful, so let's go on. I hope you guys don't and girls don't mind for me looking at the items one by one very slowly, because that's how the thief actually operates. So yeah, let's play the thicket here, as this is going to be our next blood grove target. Nice and nice. Let's hope for a blood grove before we get to the fight down there. I really would like to get another book right now. I don't see that happening. We keep the critical chance instead of just a little bit more damage. Nice, let's continue with our sand dunes here. What did we get? No good things. Now we got some support in this fight. Nice, I would like to get another skeleton for there. We are. I'm pretty prepared as of what to play where. But I'm not sure if we will actually survive the final boss. That's uh, my most concern. My idea here being to actually destroy the final boss with like 2 to 3 hits. Instead of anything else. <laughs> Did we lose what we were protecting? It was this boots. And... Yep, I think we lost what we were protecting. And it was this amulet. Nice, we found another spider. Uh, but I will keep it until we get the village and then I will play it. Nice, we got an outpost, so we can play the outpost. This will become a village. This here will also become a village. So let's play the outpost here, because we this will not become a village. Or actually, actually let's play the outpost here in the end, so that we are done with it. Let's go on. This should get oblivion at some point. Nice, we can play the ruins here, because this is already an outpost. Okay, stop. Nice, we got the village, so let's actually do what we said that we will. That's delete this fight completely from existence. Let's continue with our suburbers. Let's see what we got. Critical damage and defense instead of critical chance. But very little more damage. No, I'm keeping the chance. That would be the weapons department. Let's protect the boots and the ring. So let's go on the boots department. Critical damage instead of... No, we have 50% critical chance. I think this actually does more damage. Let's see what else we got. No, no. Yeah, let's go with the critical damage right now. Let's see what else we have. We're keeping the chance here. 
damage to all instead of critical chance no no i think the rest of this is not really that important yep we keep the evasion things we keep the very high evasion stats just for the final boss because we can drop the final boss as fast as possible and then just equip the evasion things that will be the plan because i know that the final boss has some doggos and the dogs actually phase out of the fight so if we destroy the final boss before the dogs come back then we are golden we got another book carry here so let's play it somewhere where we actually don't mind the summoned books and that would be here because i will start playing over here this whole um what's it called village tactic so let's all start blocking off the corner already i would like an outpost again which i will play on the left of the bookery i just played i will play it over here this is more of a slow and steady approach but yeah can't do anything about that right now Let's play this ruins. Here I think is safe. And then we play blood group. I cannot play blood group right here. Mm. Let's play this ruins here. And then we will play blood group about like right here. I'm trying to play the ruins as far away as any battle as possible. This actually might have been a mistake. I really need a blood group about right now before we get destroyed. Nice. We need a blood group. This one's gone. I have 30% evasion and I can also pop out for a little bit. So my stats are really good right now. Like, really good. 30% evasion, 50% chance to crit for a lot. Also, this, uh, this electrism. Uh, I will take this. Although, this might... Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. These are really good. This and this is good. This will give me about 40... About 100 more HP before the boss. This will give me the Rotwolf in a lot of fights. So... Let's go for the HP, I guess. And let's hope we get the Rot Wolf again. I'm not seeing it happen anytime soon. Let's start going the river to the top. There might have been some mistakes in how, what I'm doing with the river over here. And when I say some, I mean a lot. I should not actually make an oasis right next to the... Tickets, I should just double the doubling. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm getting destroyed here. I will lose. I'm almost... I'm done. I am dead. And I will not survive this. No, 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 no. I will not survive this. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Okay, so we keep the resources we care about. And we drop the resources we don't really care about. So yeah, the only thing I care about here is the shapeless mass and the metamorphosis orb. But we are already uh, gaining the things we want. Let's So let's actually just take all. We aren't even losing any items. So we are okay with it. Let's just retreat. Well, that was a mistake I did. Um, yeah, first things first. Next time we are doing this. We might even drop the forest and just go a desert strat. Uh, we will see. And we will definitely be using less things. I'm thinking about dropping the smith. And maybe even the spiders. And go with something like that. Maybe even drop the cemetery and just try a ruins thing. We will see how we will run this. If anybody has any good idea of how to act too reliably. I will try to follow it.
but this was an attempt and a new thing and it pretty much failed because of the forests because the enemies they spawn are really good counters to the rogue um yeah next rat will be more of a, a meme thing i thought about we will see what we will do coming up next video so yeah that was a bit of a fail but it's okay we learn by our mistakes I guess I should move even slower <laughs> when I play the cards because if I let game run wild I get destroyed by a single enemy that counters us as it seems yep that's that I guess if you like the video <laughs> like is appreciated comment down below anything you would like to point out or you would like me to try we are slowly but steadily progressing in the game we got the river already so from next on we will actually be planning even more about what to do uh, but yeah that's that for now i guess most of you people seem not to be subscribed to the channel so if you like the content and would like to see more subscription is actually the best way to help me go on with this and if you get a lot of subscribers we might even do another live stream because I have a very good idea as to what we could do. But until that happens, we need first to beat Act 3. So yeah, that's that. And yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching and see you guys around. I'm <clears throat> sorry. Thanks for watching and see you around.